Hello. I want to give the player the vitality functions we've been talking about. I'll type event action. Here's our jump, look, move, and sprint enhanced action events. This keyword that I typed is working, so I want to select the text field, control A, control C, and get these. A jump, I want to paste that, get look, right click in the, in the event graph. Uh, event action, we get move. Very right click in the event graph. We can get sprint. If you've gotten all those, I'll wait a second for you to get those if you didn't. If you're not so quick on the control A, control C stuff. Uh, I practiced that in college. Sort of uh, the hotkeys for stuff. So jump, Epic gives us these nodes called jump, and on completed we can use a node called stop jumping. Look, or this was axis 2D, this action value is 2D, it says vector 2D structure, we can split that. Um, look, we want to add yaw input, connect the X. Add pitch input. Multiply this one by negative one. Because this comes out in opposite polarity. Down is up and up is down. Move. I want to add movement input. And this is also one of our 2D structures. As you can see here, vector 2D structure, we can split that. This X can go in one of the movement inputs. In the same series, I want to add the Y value. Uh, but so this tells the scale. There's two bidirectional scales, perpendicular scales, pretty much. Um, so there's two. Uh, so we can we need to tell it which which directions the scales are controlling. There's get actor right vector and get actor forward vector. These are um, so then we can get sprint as well. If character movement, you can drag that off and we can get set max walk speed. Uh, so when we press this, it'll change to what we set here. And then when we release it, it'll change back to what we set here. When we start the game, this is set in here already. We can type walk. Here's max walk speed. This is what we're setting here. So. I want to make my max walk speed something like 750 by default. So when I release the sprint button, I want it to go back to default. If you don't want to type that in and you want to just type, you know, plug default in there, you can right click on the pin and name it default walk speed. And we set that before we created a variable out of it. So if you compile this and look at default walk speed, it's still set to the same number that we set it as. We can, if this isn't set to anything, well, if it's set to zero, it'll still be zero when you make it a variable. I want this to be sprint speed. And you have to compile. If you see here, please compile the blueprint. I want to make this thing like uh, 1125. <clears throat> okay, but how do we test? Because we don't have a player character here. See, we have nothing here. So I want to add some characters. And we can just pick from what we've got. We add Infinity Blade Warriors. Action RPG, add that. Infinity Blade Weapon, I will add weapons later. Um, adversaries. Here's the animation starter pack. This has a mannequin in it. Um, in characters, there's some free characters we can all use. Military character Dark and military character Silver. If you go to the marketplace, and type these names in. You'll find these characters and you can add add them for free. 
So I want to add this to a, to a project. I want to add this to the action RPG. I want to add this military character silver. And select the most recent compatible version and add them anyway. Okay. And we can get some weapons. Oh. Well, yeah. We'll worry about the character right now. If we click this mesh, we have we have characters now. These are all characters. You're not anything but characters. Um, so I'm gonna go to add. I wanna add a skeletal mesh. Add our mesh to. We call this player character mesh. Unlink this from the mesh. We need the player character mesh because we need to link it to a camera. So I'm gonna name player character camera put the mesh on the camera whenever we get whenever this is all set the camera needs to come up here and let's add a let's go to our player character mesh and add a mesh add a, add a We'll have this guy drag him down 90 degrees, rotate him forward 90 degrees. Forward is the direction of this arrow here. It's also in the bottom left corner of the viewport here. You can see the X arrow is pointed forward where he's looking. We have this character, and then remember animation mode. Uh, we can use this. Is linked to it. It's actually not. Okay, so what we got to do is we have so we have this character, and we need animations for the character. Um, we can get first-person shooter animations. Uh, for now, by going to content and starter pack. Um, I want to map these animations to the skeleton that my character is on. So if I browse to this asset, it's an SK Mannequin Skeleton in Infinity Blade Warriors pack. Let's go back to the end of starter pack. I want to control A. Deselect the things that you can't retarget. Like that folder up top, this map, this character, this animation blueprint. Right click these and replace skeleton. And I want the mannequin for Infinity Blade Warriors character. I think it's this one. Save these all. Go back and check if we have any animations. Let's check one of these. Uh, here's death one. They die. We go back into the player character. We can check to see if we have any animations and animation assets. We do. Um, I can make this. We can make this. Uh, I guess we can just set it to the first person shooter for now. Idle rifle iron sights. Idle rifle iron sights. There we go. He's in a first person shooter position. We can position this camera now. And move it with these up here. Select objects. Select and translate. Select and rotate. Select and scale. This is snapping so that you can move it fluidly without help. These are the snap scales. If you do use snapping. So if I if I move it one, it'll go ten. If I, if I move it one time like this, that was ten. Z says one thirty, one forty, one fifty. If I okay, so um, let's let's put this somewhere where we think his hands would be centered. Kind of look right there. And put the mesh on the camera. Go to the camera, select use pawn control rotation. 
Um, let's see what happens when we st oh, we need a player start. Let's go here. Um, let's add a player start. Let's right click in that new folder. Call this player start. Go into that folder, right click in the content browser, go to blueprint class, all classes. I want player start. Add that. We call this player start. Parent, just in case you need to make children. We'll use it as the real thing for now. We can set this player start here. We can press play. Here's our character. Let's let the shaders render. So here's our character. We can walk. We can look around. We can sprint. We can jump. There you go. Um, in the next video, we'll we'll do something cool. Next video. All right. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.